Welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. Today I'm here to bring you an important message about weather warfare and a solution. God should control the weather. Well, God or Gaia, not man. Unfortunately, that is not the case today. Billions of dollars are spent annually modifying the weather worldwide, and after 100 years of rainmaking and hurricane hacking, few know the secret history of the climate changers. In 1978, the United Nations banned weather warfare with the passage of the Environmental Modification Convention. This law came as a result of the disclosure by Jack Anderson of the United States Air Force's weather warfare activities over Vietnam. The problem we face today is there is zero accountability in the hidden world of climate engineering. I seek to change this dilemma today. My solution, which I call the Environmental Modification Accountability Act of 2018, is an addendum to the International Weather Warfare Ban requiring two things. Transparency, a worldwide requirement to give 48-hour notice before modifying or experimenting in our sky or surrounding atmosphere, and verification. Create a worldwide citizen-powered sensor network to monitor atmospheric conditions, record video footage of sky conditions, and display atmospheric aerosols in real time on a publicly available website. And that website I've already created at climateviewer.org. Those who seek to violate the conditions of this addendum will be caught with our sensor network and will be held responsible in court. While we have a sensor network to immediately let us know when North Korea detonates a nuclear blast, we have no way to know for sure who is owning your weather. The Environmental Modification Accountability Act of 2018, formerly known as the Clarity Clause, is a necessity to protect all citizens on Earth from monetary, environmental, and physical losses from weather warfare, rogue geoengineering, and the butterfly effect of massive cloud seeding projects around the globe. Militaries are using plausibly deniable weapons of mass destruction, and the only way to end that secrecy is through verification with a sensor network. Trust but verify. Only through this two-step process can we finally determine the question that plagues us all. Was this extreme weather event caused by nature or man? One cannot blame hurricanes on climate change if one does not account for the climate changers. I am crowdfunding a trip to the 21st Conference on Planned and Inadvertent Weather Modification at the 98th American Meteorological Society's annual meeting this coming January. This meeting will be a gathering of the world's top geoengineering scientists and experts in the field of weather modification technology. This is a rare opportunity for me to hear three days of presentations by the world's leading researchers in weather control and ask them some hard questions. I will explain the necessity of the Environmental Modification Accountability Act of 2018 to the scientists at this weather modification conference and hopefully interview many of them. I hope to start a new dialogue between the scientific community and the public that is grounded in facts and based on solutions, not name-calling. I recently created an infographic to show the scope of my research on weather modification technologies over the past seven years. I would like to eliminate the confusion about these extremely mind-boggling technologies. Send me and I will change the discussion about geoengineering and weather modification and push, like a gentleman, for a real solution to weather warfare transparency and verification with the environmental modification accountability act of 2018 please support me and unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot nothing's going to get better it's not